Today we're going to show you how to take your front bumper trim on your G20 BMW from this to this. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. This is the BMW G20 M340i. And today we're gonna show you how to change out this piece of trim to black. All right, so as you can see, we have our piece of trim here. Now for this process, it is going to be very difficult for you to see what's going on, but I'm going to do the best I can to help talk you through it. So when we look at the new trim piece here, we can see that there are three clips on the inside. So, you know, about here, about here, and then down around the curve. And then there are two clips on the outside. There's one right about here and then one right down here. Now the ones on the inside are pretty easy to get because it's a little knob of plastic on the bumper here and it just sits inside. Now the ones on the inside, these have a much more aggressive clip. So these are more difficult to get out. So let's start at the bottom and we'll work our way up. Now a quick little side note, when you buy this trim, typically it comes in a really nice bag. Um, so what I like to do is I actually like to use this to make sure the paint isn't gonna get scratched. Um, you may need to wrap one of your trim tools in it to help pry this out. So with that said, we're going to just reach our hand in here. And when you reach your hand in here, you're going to be able to feel this little piece of plastic. So what I like to do is I like to just push it out and with pretty little effort, you're gonna be able to get that bottom clip out. Now, just because you got the bottom clip out doesn't mean you're really all that far along though. So right now, as you can see, I have a little tiny gap. And just to make sure that it doesn't clip back in, I'm going to take my little trim tool here. And I'm just going to stick it in the bottom here, again, to apply some outward pressure. All right, so next, what we're gonna do, and we're gonna wrap it in this cloth here, we're going to very carefully start to pry out. Now, sometimes when the clip releases, you will hear an audible click. Don't worry, you didn't break anything. Um, so right now, we're pretty much aiming for this little corner. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to stick my trim tool straight in. And what that's going to do, there's a little clip right there. I'm going to try to unclip it. It's actually on a little bit of an angle like this. So a lot of times if you can pop it up from the back, you can gently release the bottom. So I'm gonna just try to release this clip down here. All right, so it looks like that one is good. Next, what we need to do we need to continue to apply some outward pressure. So I'm going to put a larger trim tool in here. Again, continue to apply outward pressure as you go. And then our next clip is going to be right about where we're, we're pushing right now. Okay. There we go. Now that one's fully unclipped. And you may notice me using this little guy. If you are going to use any kind of metal, make sure you're not touching anything. You'll notice that when I use it, I spread it wide enough to where nothing is actually touching anything. All right, and there is our last clip. All right, here we go, we got that one. And then this will pull out like that, and as you can see, we didn't break any of these, and we didn't break any of these. So this is an example of what the clip looks like. So basically what I was doing is I was trying to reach a tool back, and you push this up and out. Um, there's like a little lip on the inside, so sometimes my trim tool wasn't allowing me to fully push it back. That's why I resorted to that little screwdriver. And if you look over here, you can see there's just this very tiny nub of plastic that keeps it on the outside. So the outside is always super easy. These ones are more difficult, especially the top one. The top one is always a pain. So normally we say that's how easy it is. <laughs> this is a pain, let's be honest. So then what you wanna do with the new one, just line everything up. And then it just clips into place. All that work to get it off and it clips in in two seconds, but 
Well, that part was easy. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. And for links to all of the parts and tools we use in today's video, be sure to see the links in the description. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching and have a great day.